Okay, here's the video you're about to watch. This has been about 20 minutes later. And as you can see, it continued to develop those uh, cloudy cells. I'm not unhappy with it, but I'm going to cut back even more on the next one to see if I can't leave some of that wonderful color um, revealed underneath it. Anyway, I think it's pretty. And now let's uh, get to the making of it. Hello, my friends. Today I'm going to be doing another uh, cloud painting with the milk paint and bargain paints. So I'm excited to give these colors a try. But first I wanted to show you one of my last paintings. Um, this one came out really good. I'm happy with the wine kind of blended in with some of the white and kind of a pink cast to it. It's not as gray as I feared. Um, I messed up on the varnishing. I used the DecoArt pour-on top coat and it had started to set up and I tilted it back the other way to get to cover an edge and it kind of got wavy. I mean, you can see it uh, if I go like this. Yeah, uh, it's, not, it's not good, but uh, overall I, I'm not too bothered by that. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it and hopefully someone will like it. And that's that. So today, I'm using these Art Minds Outdoor Paints. They were on clearance, um, $1.97, I think, for a 8-ounce jar is pretty good, in Marina, Woodland, and what's this? Soft Sage. And then I've got Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Gold and white art mines pearl i think it's called <laughs> betty stop that um with milk paint i'll put the exact colors and uh, recipe down below using floetrol i'll put the ratios and everything i always give full information on my videos um I watch a lot of videos and I've seen some great stuff, but not everyone tells everything, you know, and I don't know why that is. I'm here to in instruct and uh, hopefully help you to achieve similar results. And so the only way you can do that is if you know exactly what was done. So here we go. My dog is, well, one of my dogs <laughs> is going a little crazy on the carpet. I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's get to work. paint in there? No, it's on the outside. So we'll start with the dark. I like a dark center. I love blue with gold. Try pouring in the white milk paint mix next. I give up. I'm not going to keep chastising little Betty because <laughs> she'll just get back at it. Probably do three layers. I think I made up a lot more than I need. I may have to do another one. I tried to lessen the amount of milk paint this time by um, instead of one, you know, like for example, an ounce, I did maybe 0.4 ounces of milk paint and 0.6 of. Um, white, or pearl in this case. I'm going to pour this all in. Yeah, 
end it on the white, I think. Maybe I shouldn't end it on the white. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll do the dark. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. I have plenty of paint left. I'm going to have to do another one. Just going to do a straight pour. The only thing I'm going to do is kind of rotate the cup as I pour. So here we go. Oh, the last time I, I meant to put down a little flow trawl to help it flow around. The last time I did this, I did just smeared some flow trawl on the surface. And I, I don't know if it made a difference in the appearance, but it certainly helped the paint move around on the canvas. But I forgot to do it. Oh, well, it, it'll be a good test and see how. the differences, if any. Getting to the end here. Okay, I've never used uh, three of the outdoor paints together before. I think, I think I may have used two at a time, and they are different. They're a little bit um, like um, enamels, and I think they set up quicker. Oh, isn't that pretty? I'll hit it with a torch. They were a little bubbly, some of the paints, especially the um, the woodland one was very foamy. I tried to stir the bubbles out of it, but I don't know. That could have an effect as well. But, oh, look at that. Isn't that fun? Okay, here we go. How much of this I have left? I could do some negative space thing. Hmm, I think I will. I'll, I'll try some. Maybe just on the two opposite corners. I don't, this color is pretty intense. I don't know that I'll. I like it that much, but on the edges it might be okay. Fold that over a bit. It's kind of a, a phthalo green color, I would say. which I love.
I'm going to come over here, cover that up and d decide if I want to tilt that green off or if I like it. So I'm going to turn it around and tilt towards you, the viewer. Just not sure that I like that. This is very pretty up here. I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna run that off and then stretch it back and see how I like the looks of that. Oh yes, I like that much better. Set it down and size it up. To me, that just looks funny. Um, I wonder what I can do. Yeah, it, it's just, it. there's so much going on in the rest of it. This solid color in one corner just looks odd to me. So I'm going to run it off. Wow, look at all that. That's fun. If this had been the dark blue, I think I may have liked it. I'm, I'm kind of put off by this color. But what can you do? I like it where it's blended with the white. It's not that I dislike the color, it's just the solid is not doing anything for me. Maybe I'll let just a corner of it show. Okay, let me set it down and analyze it a bit. Well, that's kind of fun. It looks like the the earth there in the center, doesn't it? Through, I, I'm liking this. Um, it's a little too centered for me. This area, so I've got to move it somewhere. Now, where do I want to move it up? I could decide what it is around it that I'm willing to sacrifice. <laughs> Betty! <laughs> um, I, I like all of it, honestly. Um, maybe this is not the most interesting part. I like this a lot. This is fun. There's a lot of that, though. This is nice. This is It's one of these two. Um, I'm going to move it down here first. Okay, where's the weight of the paint? I have to determine where it is. It's kind of here, I think, so I've got to get it back to the center and then shoot it down there. So. And now, without sacrificing 
too much of what you have going on. You know, you, you can move things around. Uh, might need to leave that. It's not exactly center now, so I probably should be content with that. I'm not bothered by this little tiny corner. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to be doing some more with that. This is a, a, all bargain paints, really. Everything was on clearance with the exception of the um, gold, which was just Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, and that's pretty cheap. So, yeah. All right, let me um, bring you in for a closer look. Get all those fun cloud type things. I don't know that you call them cells. And the center. And back out for the whole thing. I like it. I hope you do too. Let me know what you think in the comments. And feel free to suggest you know, color combos, techniques, whatever. I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, my friends. Take care.